guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jill here with the Not So Perfect Homeschool, and I am gonna be sharing with you today ways that I make learning how to read fun. All right, so before I get started, today's video is a collaboration hosted by Megan over at Pennies and Salt, and a few of us ladies joined in on this, and we're all gonna be talking about a different subject. So when you're done with my video, make sure you head on over to the playlist, which will be in my description, and you can check out all of the other ladies' videos. Alrighty guys, I am going to try to keep this video short and sweet. I know you have other videos to watch. All right, so first of all, there are endless ways of making learning fun, and specifically making learning how to read fun. So. I am just gonna give a few little examples of what I like to do in my homeschool, and yeah. All right, so the first way I like to make learning how to read fun is with movies. With toddlers, I like the leapfrog movies. It just gets them really familiar with their letter sounds, and learning their letter sounds is the first step in learning how to read well, letter recognition and learning the sounds. And both of those happen with the Leapfrog movie, at least for my kids it did. Um, we also have this phonics DVD and it's called Rock and Learn, I think, Rock and Learn Phonics. I will put a link for it in the description, but it, my kids call it at ah, ah, Apple. So when they wanna watch it, can we watch at ah, ah, Apple? Um, but it has lots of songs, it has real people, it has, it's showing the letters nice and big and it just has this like square of somebody's mouth so it's it, A makes the short sound, A, ah, A, ah, Apple, A, ah, A, ah, Apple. And it does that with the alphabet and then it just goes into all types of like phonics. S, H makes the sh sound, S, H makes the sh sound, sh, sh, sh. Like fun little catchy songs and my kids love them. Like Cade who is nine and knows how to read still loves watching these um, DVDs. So that is the first way I like to make it fun because they don't feel like they're learning when they're watching movies, right? Now another thing I like to do is I have this sight word swat I think it's called. So you get these little fly swatters. There's, it comes with four of them, and you put out all these flies on the table that have sight words on them, and you can either like say a word and they find it and swat it, or you can have them say what the word says and then swat it. So that way they're actually reading it. Um, but also, like the easier way is to you say the word and they find it and swat it. And then we like to do word hop. So I got, I didn't come up with word hop. I got it from the good and the beautiful. They do it in their kindergarten, first grade. One of those, um, they have word hop where you write down certain words and you put them in a row and your child reads it and hops to the next one, reads it, hops to the next one. Um, Stella is the one doing it here and she actually, we're making her an appointment for an eye exam because we think she needs glasses. So that is why she is bending down all the way to the ground to read the words. Um, if And I'm using the flies for this, but sometimes I will use index cards and I'll write the word nice and big. That way she doesn't have to bend down. And then another thing I like to do is I like to take the more challenging words that my kids are learning and I put them on the whiteboard with these magnetic letters and I like how it comes with the consonants in blue and the vowels are in red. It, um, it helps them to not only like read it, but seeing that vowel in red helps with their brain remembering somehow when it comes to spelling that word. Um, so I really like using these letters and I will link them as well, but I put them on the whiteboard and then I have them put like today, this day it was fruit snacks, sometimes it might be chocolate chips or Skittles or M&Ms or whatever, just something small. Sometimes it's even raisins or cashews and you can keep it as simple as possible. But 
Um, if they get their word right, then they get to eat the little snack next to it. Wild. Good. So eat that one. Yay. Count. Look at it again. Caught. Good. Good job. Choice. Yep. It just gives them that little extra motivation to try to read the word and it's it's different so it's not the same thing every day it's just adds a little variety to your school day and everything and it's just fun for them to do something out of the ordinary another thing I like to do is I like to get them readers based on characters that they already like so shows they like to watch uh, maybe like we have some Paw Patrol ones. So I like to get them readers that are what they already like because then they're excited to read it. All right, something I have done in the past that I actually haven't done for a while, just I we kind of, we ran out of the prizes and I just haven't gotten more and I kind of want to change the way I do it. But what I've done in the past is I've had a prize box full of stuff from the Dollar Tree, like calendars and pens, um, chapsticks, lip gloss, stickers, whatever, little toys, um, coloring books, stuff like that. Um, I get a prize box with all that stuff in there and then I have a reading chart that I made. I'll post a picture of it here. So yeah, so every day when they finish their reading for the day, they get to do a check mark in their box for Monday and then a check mark Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And at the end of the week, they get to pick a prize out of the box. Now I started realizing that it was just a little too easy because I do have them read every day. And so, you know, I don't know. I just felt like it was just too easy to get a prize and then it's kind of junky anyway and um i think christy from one blessed mess did it did this video like a year ago but she does where they earn money so she'll have a, she has like one of those shoe organizers i think that's what it is um that goes like behind a door and she has prizes in each one and they're all worth different prices like one dollar two dollars five dollars so yeah they earn gracie bucks and they get to save those up until they want to buy something from the prize store or i think they call it a store gracie store i don't know i don't remember but it's an awesome system that she has and i'll try to find the video and link it but i don't know if I'll be able to find that video. Maybe I'll have her send it to me. But anyway, I want to do something more like that. Um, I just haven't set it up yet. I haven't started that yet, but I would like to. And so that is another way that um, reading, learning how to read could be fun. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that you will subscribe if you have not yet. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and don't forget to check the playlist down below so you can check out the other ladies' videos. <laughs> All right, we will see you guys in the next one. All right, bye. Say bye. Bye. Say it normal. Bye. Say it in your voice. <laughs> bye. That's what you sound like. Say bye. Bye. Nah. Uh. <laughs>